Thanks Manscaped for sponsoring this video. I've always asked everyone, why don't you go outside and grill in the winter? What's the problem? It's not a big deal. It is a big deal, everybody. It is cold. Recently, I went to Ohio and it was 20 degrees Fahrenheit and I almost died. And that got me thinking, if I can't grill outside and I wanna stay inside and have something nice and quick, let's make some air fryer sandwiches that are worth your time. Let's begin. And we're gonna start off with this one. It is a beautiful pork belly 15 minute sandwich that is easy to make. However, the flavor is just awesome. And to make it, it's super simple. Everything starts out with this, pork belly. Notice one thing, these are skinless. That's what you want. Whenever you're buying pork belly, also look out for the ones that have the most amount of meat. And that's because by default, it already has plenty of fat. However, if I put them just like this on the air fryer, they're not gonna cook in time. So the first thing I need to do is to slice them up. I'm looking for a quarter inch thick each slices. Once done, they are now ready to be seasoned. Today I'm going to be using Guga's Rub. You can season it with anything you like. This one just goes really really well with it. Once I was done with the seasoning, every single one of them was perfectly coated. The next thing to do is to throw all of them into the air fryer and inside it goes for 15 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. As that was happening, it was perfect because it allowed me time to go ahead and make the sauce. This one is super cheesy. Into the food processor, I throw in some pepper jack cheese. Blend it all up to make sure I got small pieces. Then I added some Japanese mayo, followed by sour cream, a little bit of horseradish, and finished it off with Worcestershire sauce. Blend everything on high once again, and my sauce was now ready. It does not get any easier than that. Talking about easy, the next thing to do is to make some pickled onions. All you have to do is to combine some red onions with red vinegar. Put it in the microwave, and once you take them out, you now have pickled onions. And by this time, my pork belly were ready. And as you can clearly see, their air fryer did a good job. They got a nice caramelization, and most importantly, fully cooked and ready for the sandwich. I want to make this one a little bit spicy, so I went ahead and sliced up some jalapeno slices really thin. And of course, don't forget to toast your buns, everybody, as now the only thing left to do is to build the sandwich. We first start out with the bun, followed by a good amount of pepper jack cheese sauce, then we go right in with a ridiculous amount of pork belly, add in some of that cheese sauce just because you can, a little bit of red pickled onions, some jalapeno coins, cilantro right on top, and to finish it off, a good quality olive oil followed by salt and freshly ground black pepper. Once we put up the top bun, the sandwich is now ready. Now take a look at this. You tell me if this is not going to be good. Well, let's try it out right now. What am I supposed to do here? Just wait? David! There it I is. I got a surprise here for you. Thank you for the snake. Oh man. The snake hunter, everybody. Enjoy it. Let me know how you taste. I'll take this over some snake any day. It looks like this sandwich was made just for me. You know how much I love some pork belly. Cheers. Woo, that is good. If I was on death row and I had one last meal, that'd be it right there. If I would've knew that I would've gotten one of these after getting you a snake, I probably would've got you way more snakes. Would you believe if I told you I made that on the air fryer? That's air fryer pork? Yep. I would never guess. Guys, I'm gonna finish this over there. Put your air fryers to good use. You won't regret it. Now take a look at this steak sandwich. There is no one on earth that will not enjoy this, especially if you like Korean style barbecue. And to make it, it is super easy and here's how. The one thing that takes the longest is this, roasted potatoes. They are just awesome. But in order to get it done in 15 minutes, make sure you chop them up nice and small. Then season them with oil, use your favorite barbecue rub, and after 15 minutes in the air fryer, you have your potatoes ready. The next thing that goes in is the steak. Now you gotta choose the right cut. And this one is just perfect on the air fryer. It is a pre-marinated Korean skirt steak that I got from my brother Emilio, aka my meat dealer. There is nothing that you have to do. Just throw it in the air fryer and inside it goes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes. As that's happening, I went ahead and made a chimichurri sauce. Into a bowl, I combined Italian parsley, followed by oregano, roasted red bell peppers, little bit of garlic, some minced shallots, smoked paprika, lemon juice, red wine vinegar, some avocado oil, and a tiny bit of a good quality olive oil. Mix everything well and combine these ingredients together. Finish it off with salt and freshly ground black pepper. After mixing it a little bit more, your chimichurri sauce is done. Now that is pretty simple. For the bread, you can literally use anything you like. But a nice Italian bread sliced nice and thin should be perfect. Just make sure to use some butter and toast that up. As for our final sauce, I went ahead and combined some mayo together with horseradish and a little bit of sriracha. Mix everything well and my spicy sauce is ready. As by this time, my steaks were fully cooked. And take a look at this. 
this. We got a nice color on these skirt stakes. Now you're probably thinking, how does it look inside? Well, let's take a look right now. As you can see, this thing is a waterfall of juice. And like I mentioned, it's not medium rare, but for this cut, it is perfect. As the next thing to do now is to go ahead and slice it in small bites and start building our sandwich. First, I went ahead and put that white sauce on the bread, followed by those roasted potatoes, then a generous amount of that skirt steak, and to finish it off, that incredible red chimichurri sauce. Come on now, there's no way this is not gonna please everyone. But I have the perfect person to give it a try and let you know how it tastes. Damn, Guga. I got the steak sandwich going on. I think I got the best sandwich of the video. Okay, I'm gonna take a bite. This is good. This sandwich is like a little bit sweet. It's a little bit spicy, right? The bread is super soft. It's like when you bite it, you think it's gonna be really crispy, but it's actually very airy. Can you believe I cooked that on an air fryer? Stop playing around, bro. Air fryer sandwich, bro. You serious? Yeah. Only because it's cold, forget the grill and get the air fryer going, because this is good. Before moving forward, it is officially holiday season. And if you're not sure what to get as the perfect gift, today's sponsor, Manscaped, has the perfect one. The Performance Package 4.0 has everything needed to help deck the halls from face to balls, just in time for mistletoe season. This package has the Lawnmower 4.0 Body Trimmer with advanced skin-safe technology. It's waterproof and even has a 4000K LED light, so you can light up the way like Rudolph. The Weed Whacker Nose and Ear Hair Trimmer, and so you don't smell like a reindeer. They got your back with the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant and Crop Reviver Ball Toner. And for the perfect stocking stuffer, add in the brand new Body Buffer. You can also pick up any of Manscaped's best seller in your local Target. Santa cares about his sack and so should you. Look nice when you get naughty by going to manscaped.com and use code Guga for free shipping and 20% off. That's 20% off plus free shipping with promo code Guga at manscaped.com. Manscaped, get your jingle balls ready for the holidays. Your jingle balls will thank you. Thanks Manscaped for sponsoring this video, but now let's get right back to it. Now take a look at this sandwich. It's probably one of the easiest ones to make today. However, don't be deceived because this is a favorite packed sandwich. And here's how to make it. We start off with chicken. To be specific, chicken thighs. Notice that these are boneless and skinless. Now we can't put it on the air fryer just like this. You won't have enough time to cook. So the smart thing to do is to go ahead and chop everything up. I'm trying to do small pieces so that they have a nice bite on the sandwich. Once that was done, the next thing to do is to season them. I'm using Guga's rub and I made sure to season them properly. Remember, this is chicken. So you gotta go in a little heavy to have some extra flavor. Now everything goes into the air fryer. The important thing is not to stack them up on top of each other. If you do, they just don't cook properly. And into the air fryer it goes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. That's perfect because it allows us time to make the sauce. Into a bowl I combine 2 tablespoons of mayo, followed by sriracha, a little bit of honey, and finish it off with some lime juice. Mix everything well because the sauce is done. That is ridiculously easy. And I'll tell you one thing, if you love Chick-fil-A, you're gonna love this sauce. Now the next thing is to get our buns ready. And of course, we're gonna use a little bit of butter to toast our buns. Since this is a hot dog bun, I only like to toast the edges. It's just better that way. And by this time, my chicken were fully cooked. I mean, for an air fryer in 15 minutes, take a look at this. It just worked flawlessly. And since there was no oil used, it's much healthier. Now to build our sandwich. First, I open up the bread, stuffed as much chicken as possible. Then I spread a good amount of that spicy sweet sauce we just made, followed by some cotija cheese, a good amount of Mexican crema right on top, some green onions to be healthy, and a tiny bit of sesame seeds. Now this is a 15 minutes chicken sandwich that I can eat anytime. And like I said, not only is it gonna be healthy, but it should taste incredible. Well, let's find out right now. Beautiful looking sandwich, can't wait to dive in. Cheers, guys. That is a mouthful. The bread is a lot softer than I thought it would be. The chicken is nice and crispy. There's a ton of sauce. It adds such a tanginess that blends in with everything. Google told me this is the healthiest sandwich, so I thought it would taste like <laughs> I was very wrong. This is delicious. Would you believe me if I told you it was 100% cooked on the air fryer? On an air fryer? Yep, there's no oil, there's no nothing. The fact that this is all done in the air fryer makes me feel like I can do this at home myself. And no oil at all? Damn, that's impressive. If there's one thing everyone loves is burgers. And this one is more like a steakhouse burger. To make it, it only takes 15 minutes, so let's begin. 
and everything starts off with the burger meat. These are 6 ounces each. You can make them as thick as you like. Just remember, the thicker they are, the more time you need in the air fryer. For the seasoning, I went with salt followed by freshly ground black pepper and garlic powder. And of course, make sure to season both sides. Then into the air fryer they go, and notice that I'm making an indentation right in the middle. Doing this in an air fryer is a must. That way, it's not gonna plump up on me. So now into the air fryer it goes for 15 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. That was perfect because it allowed me to go ahead and make the sauces. And this one is super simple. Into a food processor, I threw in some roasted bell peppers, followed by mayo. Covered it up, blend everything on high, and that's pretty much it. A wonderful flavor that is so easy to make and worth your time. Another one that is easy to make is this, the cheese sauce. And here's how to make it. Into the food processor, I threw in some Gouda cheese, covered it up, and blend it into small pieces. Then I added some cream cheese, followed by Mexican crema, some garlic paste, and a little bit of parsley. Now blend everything well because my cheese sauce is done. Come on now, that takes no time at all. Talking about that, by this time my burgers were fully cooked. And take a look at this. Yep, it's not done on the grill. But hey, we're saving time and not having to deal with going outside on that freezing cold temperatures. As now, the only thing left to do is to go ahead and build our burger. I added a good amount of roasted bell peppers mayo, followed by some arugula to be healthy, covered it up with our beautiful burger, added some of that cheese sauce right on top, a generous amount, a little bit more of that roasted bell pepper mayo, and now my burger is now ready. And I mean, take a look at this thing. It is a monster. Super easy to make, and most importantly, absolutely delicious. Don't believe me? Well, just listen in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, yeah. It's messy, but it's so worth it. Burgers cook perfectly. The sauce is amazing, nice and light, so it keeps the whole burger kind of light. 2K, can you believe that was cooked on an air fryer? Shut up, there's no way. 15 minutes. No, no. Pan seared, I would believe you, but air fryer, no way. This is like a steakhouse burger. How the hell did you make it in an air fryer? Is it better than my smash burger? Hell no, not in a million years, but it is good. And I'm gonna finish it 100%. Those were some incredible sandwiches. And if you want to see more, let me know in the comments down below because I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe. After years perfecting it, it's finally available for purchase. Cookies Rub. My rub has been the go-to for many of you. And now this new revamped formula is better than ever. It's amazing on beef, pork, lamb, chicken, and my favorite, burgers. This rub is what I use in 90% of everything I cook. Get yours now at shopgoogafoods.com. The link will be on the description. Google's Rub, baby. Get yours now at shop.googafoods.com. Link will be on the description. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Take care, buddy. Bye-bye.